How are you feeling? Yes, I'm good, but feeling a little bit down today. Sorry, a little bit what? A little bit down today uh, oh. because uh, because of I think uh, we were busy with our uh, festivals, Chhat Puja. So I got tired as well. So okay. that's why maybe. Okay, it's not busy. It is busy. Z z z busy. Okay. All right, so. We're a little busy because see, when you replace your S or uh, sh with a j, it becomes a problem and immediately it comes across as a, you know, not a good level speaker. So please consciously, deliberately correct yourself. All right. I think tutors would have told you this earlier. Did they not point this out to you? Uh, not really. Oh my God. So sorry about that. Or maybe that. they missed. <laughs> All right. I'm so sorry about that. If you've said, if you have replaced busy with bg, definitely the is also would be replaced with a j, I'm sure. Ij, waj, digichan. It doesn't look, you know, it looks like a small child's trying to attempt. So you're an advanced learner. So come on. All right. Let's make that change. Yeah, so sure. why are you tired? Because you're depleted of energy because of the celebrations, is it? Yeah, right. Not over? Yeah, it's over. Yesterday oh. only. Yesterday it's over. All right. Great. Great. What do you do for this? Yesterday, what did you do? Can you just narrate to me? Uh, in this festival, what we do actually? No. Oh. Yesterday. Oh. Uh, yesterday, actually, in the morning time, uh, before uh, before sunrise, we we go to river and we offer prayers and we offer prasad to Lord Shan. Oh. So it is a famous festival of uh, basically from Bihar. I'm from Bihar, so that's why. Actually, um, it's not famous, it's famous. 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 Yeah. And uh, we go to river now. We go to a river. A we river. Okay. If there is no specific river, if there is a specific river, you can uh, mention the name of the river. And the next time you refer to the river, you can say uh, to the river. All right. Okay. Not to, we, do, we go to river is incorrect. To a river. Lord Shan. Who is Lord Shan? Sun. Sun. Come on. Tanuja, I told you. Replace S with Sir itself. You're replacing S with... Uh, so I was I was thinking it was some other god. That's why Lord Shan, you, I, it came across to me as S-H-U-N. You said it as Shun. So I was thinking that is a separate God. And that's why I was asking oh, you. Now. Yeah. yeah. Now, do you see how it can mislead the person who is listening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, got it. All right. So I will take care. Okay. Please take care. All right. And then what do you do? This is, you have to be there by around 3 o'clock in the morning or 4? Yeah, it's 4. Uh, actually, my mom keeps fast. Uh, oh. Observes a fast, not keeps a fast. Right? Observes are, are fast. Yeah. Observes are fast. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah, we have to go to a river to offer prayers to Lord Sun. You're from Bihar? Yeah. So you, you speak Bhojpuri? No, I speak Hindi. All right. You don't speak Bhojpuri. I think people from Bihar speaks Bhojpuri is what I have understood. Yeah, but I'm living in Bhopal city uh, since my childhood. So that's why. All right. So uh, if you're speaking Hindi, Hindi definitely has a sir. Hmm. Sarvanam. Can you say that? Sarvanam. So you said the serves correctly. Then why are you replacing sh with uh, some other words? Yeah. Okay. So sun. Yes. Sun. Yes. Sun. 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 Okay. Sakte. Sakte. Sarvanam. Sarvanam. Siri. Siri. Several. Several. Sun. Sun. There you go. All right. Okay. Move on. And then your mom observed a fast. Okay. What we call the word in English, I don't know. Ard, we call it Ard. We offer. Uh, what do we call actually? Offering? Sacrificial yeah, offering, offerings? Yeah. Offering water. Hindi. What is the word in Hindi? 
It's Ardhya. Ar Ardhya. Yeah. Okay, let's see if we can get the word. Offering, it's correct. Offering or libation. Religious ceremony. Yeah. Okay, so Ardhya is offering or libations. L-I-B-A-T-I-O-N, libation. Libation. Oh, no. Libation, B, B for Bombay, B, libation. Libation. Or offering. You can say offering. Offering is also good. Okay, then? And, uh, yeah, in Prashad, we offer all kinds of fruits. Uh, there is one in Hindi we call soup. So in that soup, we have all the fruits that we offer to Lord Sun. And uh, Sun. basically, we worship... Uh, Chhati Maya, that is, uh, sorry, she is the sister of Lord Shan. So, Shan, Lord Shan. Lord Shan. Is it Shan? Shan. Sun. 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 Yes. Soup is a winnowing basket. Uh, it's a fan shaped basket, right? Separate, like what, uh, how. Uh, it's in uh, soup is like uh, your sieve where you use it to sieve rice flour and all that mm -hmm. yeah 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 right so it's a winnowing basket i'll write the meaning in the i'll write the word in the chat box check it out no we we know we know basket okay and when does this entire ritual get over uh yeah it's yesterday it got over but it it's a four days festival Okay. So yesterday only it got over. Great. Okay. So that's what you do. And that's why you're tired a little bit. All right. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. So let's see. Uh, can you introduce yourself? Because this is our first session. Yeah, sure. So my name is Tanuja and I am from Bhopal city. And about my qualification, I have done engineering in IT stream. And currently I'm a working professional in one of the IT company. And it's been five years that I'm working in this field. And about my hobbies, I love drawing, dancing, and traveling sometimes. That's okay. all about me. All right. Thank you. And um, thank you for pronouncing stream correctly, because that S was well pronounced. Good job, Tanuja. All <laughs> thank right. you. OK. So um, you're in the IT field. And what motivated you to take up spoken English? Um, because in IT company, as you already know, that communication it's very mandatory here because if you communicate well with your customer and client so that you can do your job properly mm -hmm. and if you connect with them and uh, basically i have to connect with foreign people as well uh, foreign clients so that's why foreign, uh, foreign 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 client so that's why i joined this session and i just thought i should work on my communication otherwise i feel lot of difficulties in my workplace does it uh, would it open opportunities windows of opportunity for you if you improvised on your communication skills yeah yes promotion um yeah i got promotion but uh, not as expected because i have seen that lot of people who uh, who are very good and especially in this five year they they reach on a certain level uh, but because yeah but uh, for me i as i feel that because of lack of communication i am just give me a minute okay, give me a minute. Yeah. so tanuja has any manager or any higher ups authorities have they ever mentioned that you need to um, improve, improve your communication yeah initially i got this kind of comments uh, when i had joined my company especially from my seniors sometime but nowadays i am not getting uh, because they are able to understand me but still i feel that i am not that much of open just because of my communication all right so i just the... speak what is required only okay but you need to expand on ideas tanuja and that's why they are not telling you anymore to improve your language because they feel that Perhaps you have not taken any effort, so and you will continue to remain in that position in a stagnant position. Promotions will be rare. If you mm -hmm. want promotion, you need to um, improvise. All right, and you know how um, IT fields and corporate sectors are. 
Yes. They will ignore you and leave you where you are. If you are in a very good company, you will continue to work, but you will be in the same position for the next twenty years. Yeah. All right. Okay. Right. Great. So I'll be giving you some tips on how you can improve yourself. But let me just introduce myself, and we'll move forward. Yeah. Great. Great. So my name is Hazel. I've been teaching English language and literature for over sixteen years in regular institutions and four years online. That is twenty years of. Uh, teaching experience i have learned a lot of tips and tricks with which i can help you i've gathered these tips so that i can help my learners i'm a mother of two children currently i'm residing in my hometown in kerala i've got lots of hobbies i'm a painter i do acrylic and oil on canvas i do fabric and um, glass painting um and i'm also into clay modeling and these days i'm doing what is known as mixed media art where painting and clay modeling is mixed together you do a painting and you install clay models on the painting it gets it gives a three dimensional effect once the work is done and mounted it looks as if the picture is popping off of the wall at you i've also learned how to resin my work and the resin projects are being resin by me resin is slightly expensive but very satisfying i am also an avid reader i read as much as i can when i do get time i'm also a writer i've got my own blog currently i'm working on a collection of short stories and a novel but basically i'm a poetess i compose poems i'm also musically inclined i sing and i play three instruments as well that is all about me all right a nice introduction <laughs> <laughs> thank you all right now let's move forward and before that let me give you the tips i want you can you is your chat box open now tanuja yeah do you read uh yeah sometime but i am not habitual of reading i don't know why i just start reading sometime mm -hmm. uh but i just do it for mm -hmm. one two days or three days maybe but after that again i break my consistency mm -hmm. okay so what do you read and break the consistency when does this happen uh i had just bought some books Which, uh, this especially the self help books exactly that is understandable all right so that's why i'm giving you a list of authors please check it out what are the name of the authors could you read it yeah it's ruskin bond Sudhamurthy, hmm. R. K. Narayan, hmm. Kusvant Singh, hmm. Sri Ravindranath Tagore. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Then fifteen minutes of listening to a podcast on a on a YouTube. Go to YouTube, click on podcast, and uh, click bedtime stories. You'll get lots of bedtime stories. I want you to listen to it fifteen minutes. This is a thirty minute exercise. Okay, sure. Okay, so um, have the other tutors asked you to start reading? Yeah. Okay, and then did they tell you what to read? No, I was just asking that sometimes I struggle with sentence structure, mm. or my sentence is not that much a proper. So mm. they suggested me to read read a book so that you can enhance your sentence structure. Okay, Tanuja, if you are joining my session, you have to compulsorily do this thirty-minute exercise. I insist. I'm so sorry, but I'm being strict for your good. All right. Yeah. So, self-help books, biography, autobiography, instructional, didactic books, uh, general knowledge books, news. This doesn't help you. This doesn't help you. Like you said it yourself. I get mm -hmm. fed up. I stop it. Right. But these are authors who have got short story collection, novel also. But since it's a story, it will be captivating, and you will not give up on it. And all that I'm asking you is to read two pages for ten minutes. Here, take a look. My two pages: one side, second side; one side, second side. This is two pages. That's all you have to do every day. You can do that. So I'm not burdening you. Go sit and read the novel in Kamtanuja. I can't say that because I know you're a professional and I know you have other things to do. So all that I'm asking is 30 minutes. So 10 minutes for reading. <laughs> yes. First, get Sudha Murthy. All right. Okay. Get her. Get her book. Go to the shop. Buy a book of hers. Start reading, and uh, 10 minutes. And come to the class. And the next thing you do is 15 minutes of listening. That is of podcast bedtime story. the benefit when you are reading 
and please get the actual book, not virtual reading or digital reading, but actual book. All right, a book like this. Okay, ah. then uh, when you are, I'll tell you the benefits. When you're reading, you will be reading structured sentences. Okay, and it's a story, so you're relaxed. But the story you're reading will entertain you, relax you. Your brain is relaxed by 68%. Now that is scientific evidence. And the brain will automatically do its job of imbibing the structured sentences. You will come across difficult words. Try to get the meaning of the words. Frame sentences of your own. Okay. And mm -hmm. when you're listening to podcast, again, you're listening to well-structured sentences. So this is two times you're reinforcing the structuring of sentences by either reading or listening to a podcast. The other benefit of the podcast is you're giving auditory training. Your ears are getting to getting used to new sounds or new words. All right, and new sounds and words, which is there in English, not there in uh, in that that is that that is not there in Indian languages. Like for example, you just said uh, shun, right? It is incorrect. Age, mm -hmm. watch, determine, trust, triumph. This t is not there in English. T is t. And it is trust, determine, and uh, triumph. Sound is different. So your brain will remember the sounds and use it eventually. Give it three months' time, you will definitely improve. I promise you this. And when you come to my class, my pedagogy, my way of teaching is like this. I want you to half of the session, you will narrate the story you have read or heard. I will correct you along the way with structuring and pronunciation, intonation, etc. And we then we'll move on to the session notes. Yes, yeah, sure. Do you like pets? Yes, I like. Really? You have a pet? Yeah, I like, but I don't have uh, because they need extra care and time. So oh. some, <laughs> sometimes I don't have much time to take care. So that's why. OK, so can you open the session notes and go to Sheru? Let's meet Sheru, Sheru, Sheru. I'm just checking your reading. Could you please read that? Okay. The relationship between humans and dogs can't be expressed in words. Dogs are loyal and friendly and their love is unconditional. Mm. Make friends with dogs and you will never feel lonely. Mm. A dog is a domestic animal. Dogs are homeless. Mm. Sorry, harmless unless someone attacks them. Mm. On the way back from school, mm. I found a helpless hungry puppy lying on the roadside mm. i brought it home mm. and it was obvious my mother burst with anger on seeing mm. but with time my mother accepted him and allowed him to stay with us mm. he he has sparkles in in his eyes which attracted us mm. my sister called him seru mm. and that's how mm. he got a new home Seru mm. does not demand much, but good, good food, frequent conversation, mm. exercise, and a little fun activity. Mm. Seru is a member of our family. He loves to play and jumps all around the house. Mm. Everyone in the family loves him dearly, dearly, mm. as he is a stress buster for us. Mm. He is he is loyal and is a protector of our family. There mm. are a lot of lessons for why everyone must have dogs at home. Mm. Life becomes easy when you have an anytime uh, mm. available more met like them. They provide sympathy in our bad times. Mm. Behave like a bodyguard in times of crisis and loving sibling at the time of when we are lonely. OK. Some of the words that you mispronounced and um, relationships. Repeat. Relationships. Relation. Relation. Ships. Ships. Relation. Relation. Ships. Ships. Relationships. Relationships. Superb. Loyal. Loyal. Not is stay, but it's stay, stay. Stay. Great. Conversation. 
conversation conversation no conversation con 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 ver ver station 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 conversation great stress stress great now um i hope you enjoy the session yeah definitely right. did, you, did you learn anything yeah and uh, grammatical errors also were seen which has to be corrected as well and there should be a flow for some reason you're a little afraid to talk maybe it's because i'm a new tutor and uh, do not be afraid of me i'm only here to help you i want you to become better than me not like me do you get it my only aim is to make tanuja speak fluently and uh, in a in a manner that will get her a very high position in her job also this is my aim all right so if you're going to join me take your classes very seriously five years in the same position is not a joke hmm. that means you're going wrong somewhere so let's make that change and become a better person yes all right so please follow the um the the 30 minute exercise i've told you whether you're joining a session or not follow it consistently and then uh join my session all right so i told you how i work right don't be afraid please do not be afraid because when i i need to nudge you i need to push you a little bit otherwise you'll be in the same place and that's not helping you you're just wasting your money do you get yeah, it right, right? Mm. so let's do this together and i hope to see you very soon in another session till we yeah. meet again god bless and bye-bye thank you so much and you're have a great day. you too